Hey guys, how you doing today? And uh, welcome back once more. Now, before I get into uh, who I will be talking about today, I want to talk about, uh, and for a quick second, I'm going to make other videos about it, but I want to, uh, you know, give my condolences to um, all the Ethiopians that were killed um, recently. And, um, you know, I want to say rest in peace to them and also to all the African Americans that have been killed uh, as of recently and just the ongoingness of it as always. Um, I would like to say, you know, rest in peace to all of them. So to all my Ethiopian brothers and sisters that um, have been killed um, and you know by who, and I don't have to really bring it up, but um, to all of them that's killed, you know, I would like to say rest in peace. And to all the African-American uh, brothers and sisters that have been killed uh, as of recently, I would like to say rest in peace as well. So this is why we need unity. This is why we need to come together and to um, you know, have organizations, have economics and do business with each other so we can uh, know how to uh, tackle these events when they happen. talking about the Dogon. Now the Dogon are located in the middle of Mali in West Africa and the Dogon uh, live on cliffs uh, and they're cliff, cliff dwelling people. So, you know, they're very, very, very unique people um, as we know and as we're going to learn. Um, you know, they developed their own culture and they have evaded uh, the Islamic faith that was spreading around, uh, you know, West Africa through, you know, from Arabs and or Africans. And uh, they have evaded, uh, you know, other ethnic groups uh, conquering them, as well as uh, the French conquering them as well, too. So the um, these people, they used to be very, very isolated and, uh, you know, from the outside world, they were very, very isolated from the outside world. And many foreign influence, like I said, tried to tackle them and try to conquer them. And, you know, that is, um, uh, such as the French, uh, the, the, you know, people that believe in the Islamic and spreading the is, uh, Islam word and other ethnic groups that are around that area. Now, through all tradition, um, the people they have stated that they are from the Niger River and this is a country that is actually uh, east of Mali which is that way or that way or even even maybe that way or that way depending on you know uh, where you're at and where you're sitting and, and you know where you're watching this from in the world but uh, they are very very known for uh, um, you know arts and uh, you know masks uh, what else? What else? What else? They're also known for their carvings, their sculpture car carvings, and their spirituality and their deep, deep knowledge of, of certain subjects. Now, uh, the the people they were very, very aware of uh, people that you know, other ethnic groups or other you know, people from different countries and, and empires wanting to conquer them. So they built their homes and their villages uh, in the, on the cliff sides, and this was a means to defend themselves from you know all the past uh, events and invasions that were you know took place that you know were trying to uh, conquer these people and so they built it alongside they built their villages alongside cliffs and while they built their, their villages alongside the cliffs they um, also built it near the Niger River because this is a prime location for water so you know you need water to drink you need water to, to you know pasture I mean you know to uh, water your, your plants and you know they're agricultural people so this was a very very strategic move and they it was a very thought out um, because people have been trying to conquer them for probably like the last thousand ish years maybe even longer than that and of uh, trying to convert them and actually um, a lot of Mali is a lot of people uh, Mali are you know of the Islam you know faith so back then when a lot of people were converting to Islam or being converted to Islam uh, there were the one very few people that denied it and kept their own traditional um, gods and religions and traditions. So, and, and, and actually, you know, they uh, they were they're, they're very, very well respected as well by some people. Some people maybe not, but they're very, very well respected and very known, you know, around the world. So, uh, like I said, these people, their art is mostly sculpture in sculpture form, and the art has. Uh, 
has to do with I, you know, ideals they have, uh, idols, um, the religion that they follow, and I'll get that to in, in a second, and the freedoms that they have. You know, this, these are the things that they hold dear to themselves. But this is not made to be seen uh, for public or for people outside of, uh, you know, the tribe. And this is because to them, this is very, very deep, very spiritual in the time that goes into it and the thought that goes into it and what it means is only for them and they believe it's only for them. And yeah, that's the art that they that they make. And it's actually very beautiful art and their masks are very, very, very beautiful. You should see their masks. I mean, it's, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. And um, a lot of people uh, know them and, and I actually know them for their mask and their, uh, their very extensive knowledge of, of space and uh, the universe and stars and the cosmos and you know things of that nature like I always like to say right <laughs> so um, they have over a thousand signs they have over 1,000 signs and this is including their own system of astronomy um, uh, m you know measurements their own mathematics uh, and extensive knowledge of the human anatomy the animal anatomy and also nature anatomy as far as like the insides of trees and and the roots and you know the way the human body works and they have very very high knowledge and has have had high knowledge for thousands and thousands of years that have been passed on orally from uh their ancestors you know grandfathers 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 and keep going grandfathers 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 and grandmothers grandmothers brother i'm not gonna go that deep but you know what i'm saying 10,000, 20,000 years ago, long, 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 long time. So they have uh, this knowledge and they also have a knowledge, high knowledge of the cosmos. Um, they were one of the first people that was able to see a certain star that I'm about to talk about before anybody ever documented it, um, at least in what we call modern time. And uh, they saw that star a long time ago. Now, with that being said, you know, talking about that star, which I'm not going to say it yet, but about that star, we're going to move on to their religion. Now, their religion is a very, 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 uh, man, it, when I found out about it, you know, it was something that was really amazing to me. And, you know, I don't want to go too far in depth with it because I don't want to actually, I'm going to make another video about it, you know, about the, you know, in the African gods section of the network, uh, about their African gods, but I'll talk about it just a little bit. We'll talk about it just a little bit. So, uh, their religion is has many it, you know has many um, respects to nature and you know just the world around us but the key uh, spiritual figure in the religion is Amma and Amma is the supreme knowledge God the, you know the supreme God and Amma was the consciousness of everything in the universe and just you know um, I guess if you want to, if you know, to, I guess to make it more clear, it was a, a consciousness, you know, floating in the universe and and running, you know, ruling the universe and creating the universe in whatever other dimensions that there are and everything within the universe. And so Amma was the supreme consciousness, the supreme God, right? But then you had Nomos, which were uh, gods as well, and they were, I guess you could say, they were gods that Amma created, or you could say Amma's kids, or you know, sons and daughters, and. Uh, they were called the Nomo twins. And the reason they were called the Nomo twins because uh, there was four women and four men. And they were, lizard, they're, they're, they're in shape of lizard form. So they're like lizard, they're lizard gods. And uh, yeah, they're lizard gods. So they are known as the Nomos. Now, Amma is the supreme, like I said, a priest of supreme consciousness. And he's within all living things within the universe and within the beings. And the Nomos are the eight lizards uh, lizard gods or lizard beings, lizard looking like beings, and um, they were created from from Amma, and they all uh, came from a, a seeds that Amma placed uh, within the universe at the beginning of the time of the universe. He placed seeds, you know, eight seeds, and um, you know, within the universe. Now, with those seeds, the Nomos then appeared at that time, and when the Nomos appeared at the time, uh, you know, Amma basically was you know planted them there to mature fully and they were supposed to stay you know in their egg and in their seed and in their yolk for until they uh mature fully but there was one as always right there was one nomo that left early and came to earth and when he came to earth it was said and this is what they believe is that 
the uh, the one normal that came to Earth created the Earth out of his yolk and his egg. So he was in an egg, and out of the the egg, the yolk inside of egg, he created Earth and everything on Earth. And then he tried to return after that to the star as we know as um, um, uh, Cyrus B. Um, and when he went there, you know. It, it, or actually that star is eight light years away from earth. I just want to make a quick note for you guys to understand the star is eight light years away from earth. Um, and is the brightest star in the night sky as well. And it's very hard to see it. You you can't see it with the naked eye. So it's just funny that the, um, uh, Dogon could see it because, you know, it just makes you wonder like, Hmm, how can y'all see it? You guys have very, very ancient knowledge and, and very, very, uh, were very advanced for a very very long time and you know just has very very ancient knowledge like we always did in africa and it just makes you wonder you know it just makes you wonder like these are very 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 spiritual intelligent people and um it just really makes you wonder it's amazing to be honest with you it's very amazing so uh you know when let's go back to the nomo when the nomo when he left and he went back to uh you know around that solar system and, and to talk to um, you know the other nomos he went back because he was trying to look for his mate so like i said there was four there, i'm sorry there's eight nomos there was four women nomos and there's four men nomos right of the different sex and this is just going to go into uh you know how the dogon believe about the you know there should be a man and a woman and the different sexes in the the balance of, of things in the universe right so um Alma at the time, Alma said, you know, no, you know, you left. I, I gave your woman, you know, your, your mate, your woman Nomo. I gave it to another Nomo, a male Nomo. And no, I'm going to punish you because you weren't developed enough to leave your seat yet. And you had both sexes, you know, basically, I don't I know if kids are watching, but if kids are watching, basically the Nomo at the time when he left his egg in yolk, he had the woman sex uh, as far as body part down there, and he had the man sex too as well. Just like most of us always already do. I don't know if you know or not, but when people are born, um, or all human beings, we have both uh, parts, woman and men, uh, until a certain age, and then that's when it starts. To, our DNA starts to tell us like, hey, this is a female. So uh, you know, develop that female part down there, or hey, this is a male. Develop that male part down there, but even. Um, not to get too far into it, but even the woman has a little part of the male still in him But I don't want to go too far with that depending on if kids are watching or not. I don't know, but I don't want to go too far on that but I'm a basically uh, Said no, you know, I gave your 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 wife your woman your mate I gave her away now you return to earth. So I'm a which is the supreme consciousness is the highest supreme uh, Creator sent the normal back and when he sent him back to earth he, he turned him from a lizard god into a fox and when he turned him into a fox, he uh, was uh, cursed to roam the earth and still to this day is roaming the earth and can never find his mate. And this was supposed to symbolize the meaning of uh, a woman and a man and uh, the two sexes and you know what it means to each other. And basically that Nomo was supposed to be punished by Ama and, 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 and this is what created a uh, woman and man because he basically left his egg too soon and he had both parts and he who's trying to find his mate, but Ama said no. And so now this white fox r runs the earth and it runs around the earth within the water. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's very spiritual meaning, but within the water, within everything. And the fox is on the earth to, the, to this day, forever and ever more looking for his mate and is cursed um, by Ama. So that was very, 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 very interesting to me. I'm gonna go a little deeper on that and explain a little bit more on the, the video, but my God, that was so interesting to me. I mean, it's amazing stuff, amazing, amazing stuff. So the, uh, the they also have uh, a man called the Hogan, and the Hogan is a spiritual leader of the village, and he is elected from the, amongst the oldest men um, in the families in the village and after his election he has six a six month initiation period and in this initiation period he cannot shave and he is not allowed to wash and he has to wear white clothes and nobody is allowed to touch him at all and you know this is during his six month uh, um, initiation um, time period so he gets a young virgin though which hey who can deny that? You know, that might be a good life for her, depending on how she looks and, you know, who knows? That's, that might be a good life, but um, <laughs> let's keep it on track here. The the young virgin um, has to go and actually there has to be a young vir virgin before she has her period. And 
he she goes every day to his house for those six months and she takes care of she you know she takes care of him she prepares his meal um and you know she takes care of the house cleaning the house and then after that in the daytime you know she stays all day she does those things and at nighttime she leaves and goes home every night now after initiation the uh, elder gets he wears a um, red fez and he has a embedded uh sacred pearl that he wears that symbolizes his function and the virgin is replaced at that point by his wife and when his wife comes in there um his wife also returns home at nighttime and the whole gone the whole gone um uh has to live alone in the house and the you know the the people the reason this is why because people believe that the snake Libby um you know comes during the night to clean the the home and to you know transfer wisdom uh you know to the the elder that is going to take his place as this important role in person now these people they're very agricultural people they maintain agriculture um and this is how they you know they sustain agriculture there's agriculture and this is how they survive and they cultivate pearl millet they also cu cultivate sorghum rice and uh as well as onions uh what else tobacco peanuts um, and some other vegetables as well, especially vegetables that we don't might not have in the Western world that they cultivate. So um, they also note this that they also raise sheep, uh, goats, chickens, and grain, and they store the grain in their granaries as well, and a lot of other things, men items, and women have their own granaries, and men have their own granny, granaries, and they uh, store different things in there. But this is where they store the food as well in the granaries. So in these people believe in the uh, circumcision, uh, circumcision as well. And the male and female are thought to be born as both sex, uh, sex components, which is very true, or have sex, both sexual components. And the uh, clitoris is, cons is considered to be um, male, while the foreskin is considered to be, on a male, is considered to be a woman. And at this point, the circumcision uh, allows for each sex to assume their place. So when a man has too much skin on his, you know, his private area when he's born, that's considered a woman. So that's why they have circumcision. They cut it. And then for a woman, the same thing. They have circumcision for a woman because that part is looked at as a man part. And there has to be balance in the universe. And there has to be a woman and a male to combine and take their place to reproduce and for spiritual reasons and things like that. So boys are circumcised um, at the age of three years old. And, uh, you know... Counting, for example, of all boys between, let's say, I say, I think it was like nine or ten, nine or ten to twelve years old, and you know that counts for most of them that are are circumcised, and this marks the end of their youth, and they are now initiated. So uh, that is something that is very much due to the spirituality and the balance of woman and man, just like how I feel that most of the world uh, believes. I mean, maybe a little bit different about circumcision, but. Um, for the most part, I think a lot of people, you know, obviously know that we need a woman and a man uh, to create a, a child naturally. So we have to. Oh, and I forgot uh, the, the the people also, too, as well. They uh, have the festival every 50 years. And that's when the star uh, Cyrus B uh, shines the, the brightest in, um, you know, in, in, in the cosmos. And they have a festival, um, you know, as far as like with the Alma and the uh, Nomos, which I'll explain further you know when i make like i told you when i make the other video but uh we also must note too that that star uh, was very very important in egypt as well and um throughout you know just making the connection and throughout a lot of uh, other different civilizations but just making the connection uh between uh the dogon and egyptians you know it was very very uh, very prominent in the egyptian culture as well that star and it meant a very important thing so today we learned about another one of our people you know all of our people because we're all the same you know one love link it together we all have the same dna and I hope you enjoyed this. Um, once again, like always, um, one love to all my people. If there's anybody from Mali that sees, you know, maybe sees this and, and sees somebody from there, could you show them this, or you know, could you, uh, you know, go tell them that people around the world are talking about them, are do know that they're alive and well, and hope uh, that they have all the best in their life. And um, yeah, one love to all my people. Yo, let, let's let's name it off. I haven't named it off for a minute, so let's let's try to name some uh, things off. Let's see. How about we do it like this? Let's just say 
Rest in peace to all my black people in the last couple of months that have been uh, taken from this life too soon. And um, may your spirits, uh, may your essence, may it rise and may it go where it's supposed to go. And um, to all my African people around the world, yo, one love. Peace.